Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. This is Miles Luigi. Yeah, and this is the Evil Pop Tart. We're going to be fighting I, two boss battles today. I feel good, because guess what? These are my two favorite fights. Excellent. Yeah. All right. So here's a little key for everyone. If you can get your defense up to two, which if you've been getting the badges you should be getting throughout the game, shouldn't be a problem at all. And for this next boss fight, having a defense of two really helps. And I'm also going to put on Jump Man, because I'm going to be using nothing but my jump. I would hope so. You'll see why I have Tornado Jump Bell on as well. Because <laughs> Mario likes jumping. Ooh. I like that. Go ahead and go into this lair. Yeah, Cortez must be in the next room. Yeah, we're going to ignore the the, the scary. Ooh. And then I guess we're going to ignore all the gold on the floor. And all the huge diamonds. Do you see what I see? Oh my god! I see a skeleton! <laughs> I was kind of referring to the crystal star, but yes, there is a floating oh. skeleton head in front of me. You're after my treasure! Say, we don't even get a chance to talk with him, he just, just wants to immediately fight us. Which is alright. So my recommendation is to either have Power Smash on, or go all out on your offense and have like a Jumpman-like setup. I like the Jumpman setup better, to be honest. And you'll see why I said get your defense up to two. Look at Cortez's attack power. It's... four. Oh my god! But if you can get it up to two, you're in really good shape. I really wanted to get it up to three, actually, but I'm taking half damage now because of that. Which is pretty nice. I didn't put on any damage dodges because, like, every single one of Cortez's attacks are really hard to guard or super guard. I don't even bother. Yeah, they're pretty much a pain. You just take most of them. I, I could never do it either. But in case you didn't notice, we did just defeat him, but he came right back again. Isn't that great? Like, you normally look at this, oh, he only has 20 HP, why don't we just... DESTROY HIM! Like, I just destroyed him again. But guess what? He comes right back. As a floating head. Mm-hmm. Oh, you hit the bingo! I did hit the bingo. Nice. So I'm taking this off a recommendation of somebody to use Tornado Jump here. Let's see how it works. Oh, no way, that's cheating. I call shenanigans. <laughs> I struggled at this the first time I did it. If I would've known that, that would've made it so much easier. Yeah. Alright. Oh, well, it's not perfect. Um, if you put on Spike Shield and Multi-Bounce and have a really high attack power, you can take them out that way, and they're all going after Goombella for some reason. Um, another option, if you feel like spending the FP, is Fiery Jinx. Oh my gosh. Screw that, I would've just took Bobbery. <laughs> or, yes, if you want to wait out the, uh, the Bomb Squad, you could also use Bobbery. No, I would just use Bomb Blast and just blow everything all the way up and go BOOM! Done. Sadly, you can't do that yet. Yeah. It would otherwise be a good idea. And right now we see Cortez prolonging the fight a little bit more by draining the souls of my audience. I would have literally been better off without an audience. And they're still sitting there cheering after all their friends next to them just kind of got absorbed, you know? What, what the hell? Not a big deal, just continue cheering. I like it how he kind of like rat bites you. It does like a 360 no scope bite. <laughs> no kidding. That is quite impressive. Oh yeah. So tornado jump, I guess, can be useful as I just shown. So I know somebody's gonna tell me that fiery jinx would have been more effective, but it's like the only use that badge has in the game. So <laughs> and he's not gonna come back.
you could say we trounced him. We made him tiny. <laughs> we at the very least made him exhausted. Sadly, he is uh, can never die. Cause he's already dead. And then here's where Mario sets things straight. That's right, we finally get a chance to talk with him and say, Hey, dude, I don't want your gold, I want just the star. Like, I know everyone else I came here with wanted all this gold, but I just wanted that star. And Cortez doesn't even like that star, so we'll just gladly give it to us. How lucky for us. Indeed. Woohoo! And so after an interesting, fun boss battle, we have come to the end of the chapter. Yay! With, with the boss still alive in front of us, mind you. <laughs> so yeah. Cortez, Scourge of the Seas. Mario soundly defeated the fearful spirits, yet he's still alive, and claimed the Crystal Star. Perhaps the peaceful citizens of the world no longer need to fear Cortez and his fell ship. The only problem remaining is how will Mario escape this isolated island? And how could there be another problem still? Hiding beneath our hero's nose. You mean he's got a. There's a problem with his mustache? That's what the game just said. Wow. <laughs> yeah, we need to get off this island now. And so it's month star, day, circle, star. We have discovered Cortez. Mario defeated him, kind of. But only took the crystal star because he's that kind of hero. So how do you think we're going to be able to get back home is the question. We shall find a flying machine. <laughs> Jetpack. I don't know. We're going to build a raft out of coconuts. To become a boat? No, we're going to just build a raft. Oh my god, look who that is! That's right. The whole mess of toads we saved earlier and the uh, piantas. We're just going to tie up all the toadies, and then they'll be our raft. <laughs> toads float, huh? Oh yeah, toads float really well, actually. <laughs> Look at the buoy devices on their heads. Yeah, I know. It'd be perfect. That was actually a pretty ingenious idea. Anyway, our jumping around caused a lot of uh, activity, as the toads just said. There's not a whole lot else to say yet, because I can't move, and all the other toads escape out before me. <laughs> can't move at all. You saved our lives, man. Yeah, I might have saved your lives, but I'm going to turn all your asses into a raft. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. Uh, let's go do something I should have taken care of earlier. Whack-a-mole! That's right. I'm not that peaceful guy you thought I was. I wanted at least one Wacka's bump. Uh -huh. We're gonna let this touching moment go by. Brother! fire. Who would dare sail around here? Don't you remember all those conspiracy theories about this place earlier? Who the hell would bring a cannon here? Oh shit. They're firing after us. Um, run, guys. Why are we standing on the beach? That's a mighty fine vessel. Holy crap. That's a very modern vessel. Oh my gosh, it's four eyes. Oh my gosh, Ford Eyes is Lord Crump. It's Lord Crump! He fooled us all! Oh my god, traitor! So why haven't we ran from the shore yet? 
because the cannons aren't making it and they're landing right in front of us, even though we don't care. <laughs> We're outside the cannons' range and they aren't getting any closer. Oh, that's great. You were right, too. You were totally right. He, he, he can't see that, you know? He's, his glasses need adjustment. Oh my god, yes! If Lord Crump got a glasses adjustment, he would actually be hitting us and he'd probably be dead now, but we're alive because Lord Crump's glasses really suck. Still gonna take all the toads and turn them into a raft. Screw this. Well, they're just sitting on shore. You know, they're all just gonna stand there dead from cannon fire. Might as well use them in some way. They're all still standing there going, wow, these uh, cannonballs are getting kind of a little close. Yeah, but they're not gonna hit us. So we're just gonna still stand here. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw on all my damage dodge badges and take off tornado jump. Sadly, no longer useful badge anymore. Okay. So Flavio had a great plan to go see Cortez, the ship here. Maybe we could use it to protect Lord Crump's ship. Um kind of a far fetched idea, but it's probably the best one we got so far. Ooh, wait, what? Oh, you guys again. Flavio's a little scared, wouldn't you say? <laughs> like, I'm just standing here in perfect confidence. Goombella's just standing there in perfect confidence. But Flavio is shaking <laughs> vigorously. What you talking about, muchacho? Oh, you mean this? Yes. You! You! You son of a boop! Take this gem, handed out by generations of my family, and we're good to go! Oh, you peacock! Your ancestors stole it! Flavio's gained his courage back now by standing behind Mario and say, don't make Mario trounce you again. You rattle my bones. <laughs> Did he just call him a failure at negotiation? Negotiation? He said he was very successful in negotiations. But at least we have a way, quote unquote, home. The only thing we have to deal right now is with the battleship in front of you know, the island. So, okay. I have a question. Yes? How the hell is it going to get out of this cove? Oh, that's a, actually a really good question. We're kind of stuck in here. Crap. It's the Lenium Millennium. A millennium. Um, um. Yeah, I'm really curious. So oh. everybody walked inside, and is he still firing? Yeah, he's still firing his cannons. He's just standing out there. <laughs> nothing. Firing his cannons at nothing. Oh my god, whoa! Wow. Wow, they blasted right through that wall with that ship as if it was made out of paper. <laughs> That's a big hole. No kidding. Now we're just going to dance in circles for a while. I guess that's what battleships do. So the modern vessel, they're like, we're going to tear this old ship apart and make it go to the bottom of the sea. And we're like, we're going to tear this ship down to the bottom of the sea. Well, it's captain versus captain. And guess who the captain is? Flavio. Lord Crump. Oh. <laughs> Lord Crump versus Flavio. Oh, Flavio just negotiated his way out of the battle. All right. So unlike Cortez, uh, Lord Crump actually has timeable guard attacks, so I decided to go with the damage dodge badges again. And otherwise, my all-out setup. I actually have to tattle Lord Crump because I haven't yet. The game doesn't let you do that right in the beginning of the game. So we don't even get to see that first form attack. We do get to see this attack. Which. Goombella is taking way more damage than Mario has been this last few turns. <laughs> I'm almost tempted to just put Mario in the back because everyone's attacking the back person. Oh crap, are you really gonna tattle X Knots? 
crap. I didn't know that the game did that. I just wasted a turn. Well, I don't know. Did you already have the Exox tattled? I did. Oh, I didn't see that. It doesn't matter where I put Goombella. Everyone has a grudge against Goombella. Better against Goombella than Mario. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Let's actually get the correct tattle on Lord Crump before I completely miss my chance to get it. So he's beefed up a little bit. Instead of having 5 HP in a single attack, he now has uh, 30. Why would they be dropping forks? Okay, so question, where the hell do they get the forks? Um, the ceiling. How are there forks in the ceiling? <laughs> Same reason why there's buckets in the ceiling. Okay, touche. But who would store forks in the ceiling? Who would do that? Since the enemies have a vendetta against my partners, I'm going to throw out uh, base instead of Boombella. Alright, so this form of Lord Crump, as you can see, he has giant amounts of minions in front of him. Don't bother attacking his minions because they come back very quickly. And just concentrate all your efforts on Lord Crump. I guess if you want to, yes, you can attack the crumbs, or <laughs> the crumbs. The crumbs. Yeah, he's got his own little group now. Uh, the x knots. But as I said before, they just come back so quickly that it isn't really worth anything. Which is alright, because he is now dead. One ground pound away. Do you have any last words for Lord Crump? You sank my battleship! Exonauts, protect me! Run away. I should have actually waited for that. That would have been a perfect, you sank my battleship! Oh well. Close enough. So yeah, he's apparently ran out of juice, ran out of HP. He's like, I hate losing! No game over for me, I'm running away. Did that guy just say eat seaweed? That's right. Lord Crump's gonna go eat seaweed. But as for us, we will continue with more stuff on the next episode of Let's Play Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. This has been Miles Luigi. Yeah, this has been the Evil Pop Tart. See you next time. See ya. <laughs>